Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm so very excited to be making this video today of my three favorite things. I love resorts, I love casinos, and I love hard rock music. So we're gonna be going to the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. I'm traveling today by car from my home state of Connecticut to Atlantic City, New Jersey. New Jersey is the home state of John Bon Jovi, who even has a service area <laughs> named after him. It's so fitting with the whole Hard Rock Hotel theme. I'm traveling today with my husband Kelly, my mother, and my Aunt Gloria. They're so cute. They're like two little kids in the back seat and they can't wait to get to the casino. That's their theme park. They haven't been here in years. We're from Connecticut, so when they go to the casino, they usually go to Foxwoods and Mohegan. But me and my husband have been checking out uh, all the casinos in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and they're awesome. So we decided to take them along for the adventure this time. There's valleys on the right-hand side. We had just past Caesars. We are currently on Pacific Avenue, heading to the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. I'm going to be showing you so much in this video today, so stick around. Right now, we're going to be dropping off my mom and aunt so that they could go and start gambling right away. And I'm going to show you where the drop-off is, which is also where you're going to find ballet, and then we're going to be going to self-parking. In a previous visit to Hard Rock, my husband and I signed up for the wild cards. It's like a player's card, so if you're going to go there to Hard Rock and gamble, get the player's card because they offered us free rooms. The rooms, however, are not completely free. There is also a $25 resort fee that is attached to each room each night. Parking for our vehicle was $10 for our entire stay. I think it's $20 to valet. If you personally get dropped off or if you valet, you will be entering the Hard Rock right where check-in is. We didn't do that. We decided to self-park. So we are on the second floor. Always such an exciting feeling arriving at the casino. Over here, as soon as you walk in, you're gonna find the Flavor Tour, which is Hard Rock's quick serve, open all the time food court. We're gonna go over more of that later in the video. Now we're gonna be taking the escalator down to the lobby where we're gonna find check-in. And look, what's that? <laughs> Straight ahead, that's the casino. It's very large, it's all on the bottom floor. We are checking in on a Sunday. We are here from Sunday to Tuesday, and it's a lot busier than what we are used to. My husband and I, like I said before, both had rooms, so we got a room in the South Tower and a room in the North Tower. We are putting my mom and her sister, my aunt, in the South Tower because it's very close to the casino, so I'm gonna be showing you both of the rooms. Hard Rock was originally Trump's Taj Mahal, if you can remember that resort back in the day. <laughs> so uh, the South Tower was built back then. The North Tower was also built then too, but it was a, it's a newer development. Both the rooms that we received were just regular rooms. Both had two queen beds, um, no suites, nothing fancy like that. This one had a couch. Didn't seem like super new renovated, but it wasn't bad at, at all. It was, you know, very clean, you know, very big and open. It had all the modern things like the big flat screen TVs. It had places to plug in your cell phones. We're gonna take a little look over here at the room service menu. None of us personally ordered the room service, but they had, you know, full breakfast and all day dining menu. For those of you that don't know, Atlantic City is on the beach and a boardwalk. And if you get a room high enough, you could get an absolutely beautiful view. That over there, that hotel, that's Resorts, which has an indoor walkway that connects to the Hard Rock. The bedding was nice and it was clean and it was plush. I did not sleep in the South Tower, but the North Tower, I had a wonderful sleep there. It was really, really super comfortable beds. Now we're gonna go check out the bathroom over here. Very nice, very big, very bright. The shower was beautifully tiled. It had a little step in, there was no tub. There's a lot of drawer space. They also have a closet, comes with a safe, you know, so we can hide all the money that you win. <laughs> have you ever stayed in the South Tower before? Let me know in the comments below how your experience was here. Leaving the South Tower, we took the elevators down to floor two and we walked down this hallway and that is going to take us to the North Tower. The North Tower, as I mentioned before, is a newer construction. So it's a little bit, you know, if you want something that's newer, this is going to be it. But it's farther. It's farther from the restaurants, the casino, the lobby, everything. But it's beautiful. I really like the North Tower. Here are some of our first impressions checking in. Ooh, this is pretty. We talked about the TV. I like how the, the TV's on. 
All right, now for the important part, the view. Oh, I love these windows. Oh, yeah. North Tower is going to be a little more of a walk, but look at this view. The floor to ceiling windows would definitely keep me coming back to the North Tower. I absolutely love the view. Over there on the left hand side, that's Hera's Borgata and the Golden Nugget. That's also where you'd find the marina. This over here, that's the ocean. That used to be Revel. I slept in this bed. This bed Ooh, was so nice. comfortable. I didn't even want to get up. And then it's like, get up, get up. Because I love going to the casinos in the morning. As you can see, I take videos for my travel channel. <laughs> so it's always so much easier to go th places early in the morning where there's less people. Fancy closet. We could put our money in the safe or we could put it in the slot machine. Ooh, this is nice. The shower I felt was bigger in the North Tower and in the bathroom as well. It also had a private area where the commode was, where the South Tower did not have that. Everything was perfect and sparkling clean. <laughs> I have to add to how nice the housekeeping was. I personally don't like, I put my do not disturb sign in. I don't really want people cleaning my room while I'm visiting, but they kept coming and asking if we needed anything. They were really, really friendly at the Hard Rock Hotel. And you can't beat the price. I mean, $25 to stay in a room like this, it, it's absolutely beautiful. The free room offers were from Sunday to Thursday only, so it doesn't really work out if you only could go on the weekend. For my Interval International friends watching this over here, that right there, that's the flagship resort. Now we're gonna take you guys out to lunch with us. We're gonna go check out the historic White House sub shop. While waiting for our subs, we bumped into my mom and my aunt. My mama and my auntie. And you guys both got meatball subs? Yeah. yeah. I knew they were going to be this big. Wow, those are huge. <laughs> Look at that. It's just 11 dollars. As you can see, the servings are huge. My husband and I got the steak and pepper grinder. It was delicious. We took it back to our room because, it, like I said before, it was very busy. And we had a bottle of wine. <laughs> so, hey, why not? <laughs> This over here, this is ocean. I thought that was pretty cool, that ball on the top. North Tower definitely wins for the views. If you want to see more White House stick around, I'm going to be showing you the breakfast we got there later in the video. Now I'm taking a little walk. That was the Rock Spa right over there. I couldn't get into that. That was close. But look at this. This is like such a focal point of this amazing resort. You can't help but feel like a total rock star walking around here. Are you planning your first trip to the Hard Rock Hotel in Atlantic City? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Currently now on this tour that you're taking with me, we are on the second floor. This is where you're gonna find some stores. This is the rock shop right here. They have some really cool items there. That over there, that's guest services. That's where you'll get your wild card. Definitely do that, like I said earlier. Looking straight ahead over there, that's seven different quick serve restaurants. It's called the Flavor Tours. We're gonna get more into that later. I'll show you that closer. This escalator too is a little confusing. I don't know why, but on the left hand side you go down, not the right hand side. Usually it's the other way around. <laughs> I've been here before where it was the opposite, but I got a little confused. This right around here, it's so cool. They're always constantly changing the music. They have concerts going on up there. It's always forever changing. It's really neat to see. So I'm on the loose tonight. My mom and my aunt are down at the casino playing some slots. My husband's just like upstairs, like it's too crowded. I don't even want to go out. So I'm on the loose. <laughs> so I'm going to show you right here is the lobby bar. We offer free live music seven nights a week. If you're a fan of uh, live music, you would definitely appreciate the hard rock. They have something going on all the time. Even some of the restaurants have stage where you can hear jazz music. At the Hard Rock Cafe, they have dueling pianos. They have a big arena. Okay, we have to take a moment to appreciate the fresh flowers. <laughs> I always love stuff like that. See Andre Bocelli, he's going to be here. There's going to be Sting, Joan Jett, and the Blackhearts, Limp Biscuit. I just saw like the list of like all these things coming up in the future. I mean, it's going to be chaos, super fun stuff. 
Now I'm going to be taking you for a little walk through the casino to show you what kind of machines they have here. I'm going to show you two machines that I personally love. But if you're not into casinos, don't go anywhere. Fast forward a little bit because I have a lot more to show you. Are you a fan of slot machines? Let me know in the comments below what your favorite games are. This right here, this is where you'd be finding the Hard Rock Cafe. You can access this from the casino or the boardwalk. I'm going to quickly show you two games that I absolutely love. This is the Wheel of Fortune 4D with Vanna White. This game is awesome. This is a bonus that I got. The bonuses are pretty frequent. It's a dollar per bet on a minimum bet, which is way more than I like to. I usually like to do the 35 cent one, but the payouts are pretty good. Like I put a dollar in and I ended up getting the $20. You know, it would have been nice if I got the free spins or a jackpot, but $20, but I took that. That was pretty good. Nice work. There are currently, at the moment, six of these Wheel of Fortune games, and you can find them in between where the Hard Rock Cafe is, and if you go down a little bit further, you can see the Sugar Factory. They're in between the two of them. I really do love this game, but, you know, if you're someone that gets motion sickness or if don't like doesn't like 4D, this might not be for you because sometimes it does make you a little dizzy, but it's really super fun. I highly recommend it. Another game that I love that you can find at the Hard Rock is the Munchkin Land Wizard of Oz game. They have the witch bets that you can upgrade. I think it's 50 cents for a minimum bet, but you could upgrade for a 75 cent minimum bet you get more witches which are like kind of wild cards so but it didn't do that great for me that day another game i want to show you real quickly is quick hit someone near me sounds like they're doing pretty good <laughs> the reason i like the quick hits first of all there's tons of them and they're in all different like categories and themes and stuff like that it's 35 cent minimum bet which is relatively pretty easy for anybody to do this is like a bonus right here you get to like you choose three and like it will tell you how many free spins you get you know you never really win a lot you never really lose a lot but it's a lot of fun and it's kind of fun that you know you can sit there and like you know probably float on ten dollars for like an hour <laughs> So I received eight free spins without a multiplier, which, you know, kind of, it kind of sucks. <laughs> but that little rising button that's right there in the middle, that moves your multiplier up. So, you know, I mean, if you get a bunch of them, that's great. This band was great. We're back at the lobby bar. Look at this, Rick Allen from Def Leppard is going to be there April 2nd showcasing his art. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> Only at the Hard Rock Hotel. This came out lousy, but I'm back in my room now. That's Hera's over there. And it says like Hera's Resort over and over and over. I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> this is the morning. I mean, what a beautiful view to wake up to. I was like, I don't even want to go anywhere. But I did because of this. Look. I could go walk around. There's nobody out right now. Straight ahead, right over there, that's where you'll find the arena. I was gonna go over there and take some videos, and all of a sudden, like, everything seemed to stop, and the stairs started making music. For real, no joke, this was really cool. <laughs> See for yourself. Only at the Hard Rock Hotel. I absolutely love this place. I just want to live here. This is where you'll find wild card services where you'll get your player's card. Doesn't usually look like this. <laughs> it's super early in the morning and I'm looking to grab a coffee. So I'm going to check out Alexia's Patisserie, which is in the flavor store area, which is, like I said before, more of the quick serve food court type of area here where you can find all kinds of gelatos, macaroons, they have ready-made sandwiches, you can find muffins and coffees and all kinds of good stuff. So I grabbed a coffee and now I'm on my way to resorts. That's going to be a separate video. <laughs>
I wanted to go check out resorts because I heard Breadsticks was an awesome place to get breakfast. On the way, I ran into Hard Rock's Council Oak. This is a steak and seafood place. It's beautiful. And it wasn't open, but it was open enough where I could go in and videotape it. <laughs> this right here is the bar. And they have a stage where they have live music. It was beautiful. And they have this long hallway that you could walk down. I really wanted to check out this place because when I walk on the boardwalk, I see people dining in here. And I'm like, oh my God, that looks so lovely. I want to check it out one day. So here I am checking it out. <laughs> there are so many amazing places to dine in the Hard Rock Hotel. It's really hard to decide where to go. Right now we're gonna check out Kuro. I think that's what it's called, Kuro, Kuro. It has a beautiful menu of fresh Japanese food. I'm just looking on the website now. It looks like it's only open at the moment on Fridays and Saturday nights from five to 10 making this video right now it's the beginning of april 2022 so obviously things could change but at the moment those are the hours that they are open these and other fine dining restaurants are located on the bottom floor where the casino is and the box office right now we're going to go check out where resorts is and how to get to resorts from the inside without having to go out to the street or the boardwalk we found the resorts walkway going up a very large escalator Resorts is a smaller hotel and casino, but it's very historic. It was the first one that was built in Atlantic City that opened up as a casino. To the left, you're going to find the beach and the boardwalk. I'll be finishing that video after I finish this one. This one is taking me forever because I've been sick. <laughs> Here's the resorts right there. I had a beautiful breakfast there and we did some gambling there. So look out for that in the future. Back at Hard Rock now for $30. I'm going to show you the lunch buffet. I did not eat here, though. This is just me walking through. It's not even open yet. The buffet is located on the second floor, and they have actually really good deals for seniors. My mom and my aunt were able to get buy one, get one free. Now I'm going to touch upon one of the biggest benefits. <laughs> I shouldn't even say benefits. Uh, it's the drinks on the machines. Not only could you just like order for someone to come over and take your order, you could just order your drinks and they have beers and cocktails and wines and cordials. I had Bloody Marys. Uh, we had white Russians ones, margaritas. I mean, it is so cool. And then they remember your order for future things. They'll be like, hey, do you want another margarita? Fantastic. Got a little spice. No olive, though. No olive. But it's nice. Comes the cocktails on the machines are complimentary, but just make sure that you're prepared, you know, to be able to tip your servers. Bring singles, fives, tens, whatever you feel that you could afford to take care of them because they're they are bringing you free drinks. Come on down. This was our first time playing The Price Is Right. I've never seen it any at any other casino either. Um, it was very fun and very visually fun to play, but like for us, it didn't do very good, but I'm sure, you know, other people, it probably has done well. If you played this before, let me know in the comments below how you did on this machine. Awesome. It took probably about 10 or 15 minutes and probably about 10 or 15, maybe $30, but I finally did get the big wheel. I was very excited at this point. I didn't know what to expect. to be here like the more you bet obviously you know I bet 50 cents and it was 35 times so I won 1750 so the more you bet something like this the jackpot obviously would be higher than what I did playing 50 cents all in all the game was really fun and they clapped for me <laughs> who doesn't love that other games that I enjoyed were the Clinko games those I found over by the sugar factory I liked them because they were just I don't know, it's like you didn't have to bet a lot. They had like the balls falling, almost like a pinball game. And then you would get bonuses for this or that, you know? So it kind of felt like, all right, I'm putting money in, but I keep getting money back. 
I like to share my squat experiences with others. If you're not interested in squats, fast forward a little bit. I still have so much more of the property to show. I just kind of do it in a way, in the fashion of like how I did my trip. So it's easier for me to explain to people. But we're going to be going to Willy Wonka next. So I'm going to be showing you the dreamer of dreams. So if you're not interested in any of this, just fast forward a couple minutes. And we'll get back to the rest of the property tour. But back to the Plinko games. As you can see, there's a lot of multipliers. A lot of free games, you know, they have all kinds of, you know, they have the sevens. So for somebody, bing, yep, got the free spins, excellent. If you're enjoying this and you're not subscribed to my channel, please do that. <laughs> I do a lot of these videos. I take a lot of time making these videos to help people. So if you are watching this, please subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. It would really help my channel. I really do enjoy this Munchkin Land game. And you do get the wilds in the beginning. I mean, one time I had the wilds all the way across. It was really a really good payout. I believe there are six of these at Hard Rock and they are close to the Hard Rock Cafe. That could have been really great. Okay, now we're gonna spend a couple minutes at Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka, you could find by like where the restaurants are, where I showed you before, where Council Oak is and Kuro over there. That's where you can find the Willy Wonka. It is a smoking section. The smoking still seems to be a pretty big thing at Hard Rock. It seems like it's pretty smoky everywhere on the casino floors, but particularly in this area, I felt it was very smoky. There are a lot of different ways that you could win on this Willy Wonka machine, but when, like the other machines, when you get the wilds on the left-hand side, that's usually when you'll do better. If you get wilds all the way across, which I have had that happen before, you can do very well. So it's kind of exciting to play. I believe it's an 80 cents minimum spin. It took me a while that day, but I finally did get one of the bonuses. And then I ended up getting this bonus, which I'm going to be showing you right here. So stay tuned. Don't go away. Inside this room, all of my dreams become realities. And some of my realities. When you get the bonus, there are four different kinds that you could win. You, you know, you get four different jars and whatever one of candy gets filled in first, that's the game that you're going to get. <laughs> so this game here is really cool. You get all these money things, these yellow things. I'm not really sure what the difference is between the purple one and the yellow ones. If anybody knows in the comments, let me know before because that makes me crazy. <laughs> Wondering what's the difference. And then, then these, these squares come down. And whatever is in the square, that's what you win. And that's how the game is. I think I had six different spins here. So you get this and then the blue thing comes down and whatever it covers, that's what you win. So you could end up winning a lot of money doing this. And I have. This day wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't bad. But I wanted to show you many life. See, this one covered really well, but the money in the pot wasn't that great. Had that been bigger, monies then it probably would have been a great win now i did wear win something here so i'm assuming because it landed on willy wonka going all the way across that i was able to win something even though there wasn't money actually everywhere across if anybody knows that let me know about that too <laughs> it's funny when you go on slot machines you really don't know what you're doing or what you're winning it's kind of like oh cool i won 100 dollars. how'd that happen <laughs> All in all, I had a super fun time playing slots at Hard Rock. I really enjoy this casino. Everything's pretty simple. It's not like different layers and different rooms and everything's really spread out. The tables, all the slot machines, but it's all on one floor and one area. There's not different levels. Like I go to Foxwood, it's in Connecticut and it's all different floors, different hotels. I mean, it's huge. The, you know, Hard Rock's big too, but it's pretty easy to navigate. I really enjoy this casino a lot. The music, you know, the live music, all the different restaurants, fantastic place to go. And I'm going to be showing you our dinner at Hard Rock Cafe soon, so stick around. I think we're doing our last spin now. So we had six spins all together. Some were better than others, but I think it, at the end of the day, after all this, I won $60. Could it have been worse and better? Yes. <laughs> I've had some of these, you know, things, you know, where I've won, you know, two, three hundred on a minimum bet. 
which was awesome. But you know, I'm, I'm sixty dollars. I'll take it. I'm pretty happy with that. It'll pay for dinner. <laughs> If you're still with me, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the tour of the Hard Rock Hotel with me. We're going to be going to the Hard Rock Cafe. Later on, we're going to be taking a more thorough walk around the property. I'm going to show you the lobby when there's no other people there. I'm going to show you where you could find your car if you do valet. We're going to go check out the indoor pool. We got a lot more to see. I'm going to be taking you through the North Tower between South Tower and North Tower and show you some of the... Oh, but wait. First, I have to show you this bonus. <laughs> if you get the jackpot bonus, you can choose between one of these three people. One person has the answer. If you pick the right person first <laughs> you have three obviously three choices but if you hit the first one you win 110 dollars which i did how excited was i it's going to town now i'm going to take you guys to the hard rock cafe this is like my fourth time dining here i absolutely love this place not in this trip <laughs> in general <laughs> this is my first time on this trip those of you that have never dined at a Hard Rock Cafe before, it, it's awesome. You know, it's got a, you know, like a good bar menu with burgers and chicken sandwiches and salads and all that good fare. I have also dined in the Hard Rock Cafes in Myrtle Beach, Orlando, and Las Vegas, and all have been really good and very consistent. Walking around Atlantic City Hard Rock, <laughs> I saw signs for a new burger that they were promoting called the Messy Burger. It's the new one. I, I thought it was going to be messy. It really wasn't. It was just called the Messy Burger. It has 10 different ingredients inside the burger. It was really good, very tasty, and it wasn't messy. <laughs> the prices at Hard Rock are pretty fair. You know, it's like $15 for a burger. My husband ordered the buffalo chicken tenders, which he liked a lot. My aunt and my mom like their dinners. I know my mom got the, like, it's like cheeseburger sliders. She liked them a lot. There's my messy burger right there. It was really good. It had like the little fried onions and bacon on it. It was, it was delicious. Wow. And ja just like that, we're back at the North Tower. These are the North Tower elevators. And I'm going to take you for a little walk through the North Tower to the South Tower, which is going to take you out to the casino, the lobby, where all the lounges and restaurants are. So just to give you an idea for people that are like, I really want to stay at North Tower. I heard it might be nicer, but this is going to be the walk everywhere. So not that it's bad, it's beautiful. And on your walk, you can enjoy all these different, like, you know, rock star memorabilia. You know, it's nice. They got music playing. It's, I don't know. I love this place. I really love the hard rock. And I personally really enjoyed staying in the North Tower. down the big escalator we saw some of the main stores that they have there they have the rock shop and now we're going this right here this is the lobby bar this is I if you watched earlier in the video there was two bands that were playing there they have music here every night amazing awesome benefit of staying here if you like live music If you have been with me since the beginning of this video when we dropped off my mom and my aunt, this is where we dropped them off. 
This is where you could find the lobby. That's where we checked in, obviously. <laughs> There's not many people here now, so it's much easier to take a video. This is where you're gonna find the, the Bellman desk. This is where you're gonna find valet, concierge. But look at there's nobody here this is a tuesday morning great time to come here <laughs> typically when my husband and i come here to any casino you know we just self park we leave our stuff in the car we get it when we need it you know but coming now with my mom and my aunt it was like a different experience so in the future you know if you're going with a bunch of people if you're going with the family do the valet get the bellman you know then you can get your room they'll send the bags up when you're ready you know going back and forth getting this and that it got to be a little bit a lot this little space dedicated to richie sambora from bon jovi <laughs> john bon jovi is a huge thing like i said earlier in the video in new jersey as well as bruce springsteen it's new jersey is very very big on those too <laughs> As you can see how fun this is for me to tape in the morning. <laughs> There's nobody here. This is during the week. I know a lot of people need to travel on weekends and school breaks and that sort of thing. But if you could come on a Monday through a Thursday, it looks more like this during the week. It's really nice. <laughs> This is also where you could get free rooms, but you have to go with, you know, the downsides too is not every restaurant's not going to be open. There's probably not going to be any main concerts. You'll still get live music in the lobby bar, which I think is fantastic, but you're not going to see probably big name bands. And, and well, if you know, you're a lot younger than me, which is probably most of you, <laughs> maybe you want to go when it's busy. I remember going to nightclubs being like, wow, this place is packed. Now that I'm in my fifties, I'm like, oh God, this place is packed. I got to go back to my room. <laughs> you know, it's, it's what you're into, you know? Hope this video is helping you understand like, you know, where to park, where to stay, what, you know, tower you want to go in. This right here, that it would be the, the lobby bar once again. It's in the middle of everything. <laughs> and it has live music. You gotta stay at Hard Rock if you love live music. Other resort casinos that I've stayed in recently are Tropicana and Caesars, which are on the other side of the boardwalk. I have videos of them as well. I'm gonna take you through a walk here. I have never seen a show here, but this is where the arena is at Hard Rock. I'm just gonna take you for a little walk down here to show you what to expect if you're gonna go see a show here. Obviously, it wasn't open and <laughs> I couldn't get in, <laughs> but this is where you would come to go see a show. I'm sure it's awesome, especially if you have a room here for a night. I live in Connecticut and I go to Mohegan Sun a lot to go see shows and it's so great when you have a room there, you just go see the show, you can go have some drinks, go back to your room, you know, it's really a lot of fun. So we already checked out. <laughs> it's a Tuesday. We checked in on a Sunday. We had two nights. So now it's Tuesday. So we're like, let's hit the casino for a little bit more. This game is super fun. You can find that right like when you first walk into the casino. If you look to the right, it's around over there. And of course, I had to go visit Banna and say goodbye. She was really good to me. The, the whole place was really good to me. I think I came with like $600 to spend on food and gambling and I left with $600. So to me, that's awesome. <laughs> I have a love and hate relationship with this game. <laughs> like I waited and I waited and I finally got the bonus and like I got a dollar twenty. <laughs> Which like really stinks. But then you know you get this bonus wheel that maybe you could do better and then I got like two times a dollar twenty. <laughs> Fun game, but very disappointing. <laughs> this right here is the sports book. Probably one of the smallest sports books I've ever seen. I personally don't play there, so I don't know much about them. But I like to film them because I know people are interested in them. But it was very smoky and very small. If you're looking for a sports book, I would say like if you find where the sugar factory is, it's in that general area. It's kind of across from there, but it's kind of tucked away and hidden. In other casinos, sports books are like out in the middle. They're very grand. And this one was kind of just hidden. <laughs> For breakfast, we went, went back to the White House sub shop. We got an egg sandwich to split. It was delicious. This is a little peek at their menu here. 
I was also very thirsty from all the alcoholic beverages I had the prior day. Close to White House subs, they had a beautiful juice bar there. Man, it was like orange and strawberry and pineapple drink. It was fantastic. It was so good. Did the trick. I needed something healthy. <laughs> We are now sitting where the flavor tour is. That's where you can find hamburgers. In the morning, you can find pancakes, you know, all kinds of food. It's, that's exactly what it is. It's the flavor tour. And right now, we're going to be checking out the indoor pool. We have already checked out, and my mom and my aunt are like, can we stay a little longer? We want to gamble a little more. We kind of didn't want to, you know, it's like, hey, I just broke even, I'm doing good, but they wanted to gamble a little more, which I totally get. So, we, hey, we're like on a little adventure checking this out. So we went and we sat by the indoor pool a little while, which was lovely. It was really, really nice. I'm not sure if there's an outdoor pool at the Hard Rock. If anybody knows that in the comments below, could they, you let me know? Um, if there is an outdoor pool, I didn't see it. I saw these doors, but it led out to this, which looked like a place that maybe you could go sun tanning, but I didn't see any outdoor pools. This right here, this would be the boardwalk walking outside of the Hard Rock. I love the boardwalk. I know people go to the casinos and they don't ever go out there. It's my favorite park, part of Atlantic City. I absolutely love the boardwalk. For those of you that don't know, <laughs> the boardwalk is four miles long. It's massive and there's a beautiful beach. There's a pier that has rides and there's all kinds of good food. And I mean, it's really, really awesome. I mean, people ask, is it safe? I mean, I've never had a problem out there. I'm sure you can, you know, just be smart and diligent and, you know, keep an eye on, you know, what's going on around you like you would anywhere else, you know? So this is us leaving now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I make these videos, you know, because I just like to make them for myself and for my family and, you know, just to kind of just help other people decide, like, is this place for me? Maybe you'll like Vegas better. Maybe you won't like Atlantic City at all. I love it. I think it's awesome. I love the beach and the boardwalk and the whole vibe of the place. It's so historic. There's so many cool places to go to, and I'm just so excited to go see them all. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. That would be so helpful. I would really love it. This is your host, Jennifer Sparks. Safe travels to you, and we'll see you again soon.